What's going on guys, it's Shane and we are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to School Bus Simulator Starline. I'm sorry, I just start to cringe whenever I say the title of my own game. It's It feels so weird. Um, I'm a little late with this video. I'm uh, working, you know, it's, it's been getting crazy at work. It's been getting pretty busy and, you know, I kind of laid back on the videos. But I, I try to, you know, put a video out wherever I can. So, uh... I did drop an update October 1st. It's kind of my Halloween update. I didn't go all out like I was planning on doing. I was going to do tons of Halloween decorations, but again, work, you know, got in the way. But anyway, for those of you who are watching, happy early Halloween, okay? Uh, yeah, uh, we got a new bus, the 2020 Thomas HDX. Um I was always wanting to add a flat nose bus to my game, a, a free one at that. Uh, the next flat nose I add is probably going to be a game pass, just a heads up. Um, I did want to make sure I got a free one out there, though, and I think a lot of people love the HDX, so that's why I've added it, and we'll be driving it today. Um, I've added working dash lights to the buses. was a pain to figure out on how to do it, but I figured it out, and now I know how to do it to all the buses, so... There we go. Uh, and then we added some Halloween bus decor. I said we, but I did it. So, uh, and then Halloween map decor as well. And then there's a free cam script, which now works. So all of you guys have free cam now, which is great. So let's go ahead and hop into the game. Level 100, like a boss. So, I mean, it's very minor Halloween decor. As you can see, there's a little bit in here. Yes, these are free models because, um, I'm not a very good, some of the stuff, like little decorations like this, you'd have to build in Blender, which I have no business doing because I suck at Blender. So, uh, and then I made a small change to the uh, Starline logo out there. It's orange instead of blue and white now. It's orange and black. Um, where, where are my trees? I thought I put trees right here. I could have sworn I put trees right there. I don't know what happened to them. I swear I had trees outside this fence right here. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, you can see a little Halloween decor here. Uh, it's not much, but uh, it's a little bit. So let's go ahead and click the spawn. So the HDXs are going to be the ones titled 20, uh, as, you know, it's a uh, year 2020. Um, so we're going to go with 21, 2001. Spawns in here. Very, very nice. Okay. So I, I did some little changes to this bus. It had uh, like a, uh, a weird looking pattern on the cross arm. I took that off. Um, what else did I do? Oh, the back. Look at this. I don't know which district does this. I'm sure a lot of districts do it, but I love the uh, stop when red lights flash like this. It looks so good on the back of the bus. It really does. So I decided to add that and... Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop in the bus. Um, I don't know what this is. I think it's something to do with the Huxley bus. Um, sometimes it'll spawn in, sometimes it won't. Actually, let's go ahead and despawn the bus and spawn it back in because I don't want that being there. Um, it won't spawn in all the time. I don't know why that part does that. I really don't know why. See, now it's gone. So, yeah, I don't understand that. But, uh, yeah, so... This is undoubtedly the best bus in the game right now. And let me tell you why. Because if we look at the interior, if I press M to start the bus, you will notice all of those lights come on. Look at that. They come on, and then you press it one more time. And bang, look at that. Lights up and everything. So we do have the radio in here. I added, let me go ahead and get into free cam here. Uh, I added some nice little stickers down here. I made these myself. That one down there, too. Made that one as well. Okay, and then look. So when you engage the parking brake, the light actually turns on and off. Uh, same with the headlights. Uh, and one thing about the headlights is cool is that uh, all these switches actually light up orange, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, look at that. Turns blue for the high beams and then turns off, so... We'll hit that one more time. Bang. Very nice. And then the uh, turn signals light up as well. Um, and then I think that's it. You guys saw all the other lights, but those aren't really scripted just yet because I have no use for them. Um, 
I am going to get the uh, the electronic uh, Allison shifter thingy. I don't like this shifter at all. Uh, so I am going to get the other one. Just haven't bought it yet. Uh, another thing, if we hit V for our ambers, you'll notice this red switch actually animate. Look at that. To my knowledge, that's what it does in real life. Uh, I don't have anything for the uh, the door. Don't know if that actually animates or not, but uh, apparently the amber switch does. So look at that. It's very cool. It is the only bus in this game that has that. So let me know what you guys think. I think it's the best bus in the game right now. So we go ahead and put our seatbelt on. And there is a way to open the window. Oh, it's down here. Look at that. Awesome. Very, very awesome. So here we go. And then you can see the Halloween decor. It's like a little jack-o'-lantern cobwebs up at the corner. And I think that's pretty much it. I didn't, Like I said, I didn't go all out. I was going to, but this update's only going to be in the game for a month. So, I mean, I, you know, work, like I said, work has just been pretty tough. So, but I'm managing. And we are, at the time of this video, I think we're at like 81,000 visits, which is absolutely insane. Um, I mean, we are so close to 100,000 visits, which is crazy. I mean, the game's been out for, I guess, has it been two months yet? I think it has. Almost. Maybe. Coming up on it. But, uh, yeah, here's the reds. I went with a, uh, like a strobing pattern. I don't know if I should have done that with these lights or not. Uh, I just hate the other setting. Uh, they just don't look as nice, but I don't know. I actually might want to replace these lights with like a different one. Uh, Cause I, I, I'm not a fan of these lights at all, but it is what it is. A lot of people are saying the uh, the spawner isn't working on console, which I really have no way of testing because I don't own a console. I just want to remind everybody that I do have a bug reports channel in the Discord, so if something is really broken, the best place to send it is there. But I got a few ideas uh, for videos in the upcoming week. I'm going to uh, make a video on Grovetown. Or uh, is it Grovetown? Yeah. Uh, people want to see that apparently. And then I'm going to make a shooter guide to uh, hunting season. Uh, like, because apparently a lot of people don't know where to shoot the deer. And I've tried explaining it. It's just kind of a little hard to explain in words. You kind of have to show people. So that's what I'm going to do. There we go. I guess we should... Well, I'm not going to turn the radio on right now. I don't really want to turn that on. I guess we could turn on the fog light, though, uh, if I can figure out how. There is G. Very nice. Also... Um, I did some things to the interior light. Uh, it's not going to be the best to showcase it right now, but I will here in a second. 
Um, instead of it being a white interior light, I went with like a kind of light blue. I'm going to show you guys here in just a second. So if I press uh, U, as you can see, it's more of a, yeah, you really can't see it right now, but it's kind of a light blue. And I edited the, uh, um, what would you call it? Like the distance of it or the size of it. So that way it isn't kind of like the light isn't peeking underneath the bus or outside of the bus. That's kind of just kind of inside the bus, as you can see. So, yeah, I tried to get it as nice as I could, but uh, I think it looks nice. Uh, at night, it looks a lot different. Um, I would change the time of day, but it doesn't actually change it due to my time clock system. Here, I kind of, I'll show you. So, if we go time 15. Nope, that's not time 6. Ah, see, it doesn't keep the time. Eh, you guys kind of got to see it, but yeah. Uh, I believe I still have the corn maze in the game, so people can still obtain that badge. I don't want to get my thumbnail here. Uh, I need to be in free cam though. I have a spot. Right here. That's where we're doing it, son. Out of work. I think. Okay. We're going to go ahead and drop these individuals off at the uh, elementary school up here. I cannot stop for that stop sign. All righty. Oh, I need to change the, uh, the sign on that. <laughs> the game's already released. Anyways, let me know how you guys like the update. Um, I worked a little bit on it. Not too hard. It wasn't very hard to do. Like I said, I could have went all out with it, but... I decided not to, but uh, let me know if you guys are still playing this game or not. Um, I think right now there's about 10 people playing it, so it is pretty cool. Uh, regardless, uh, like I said, let me know what you think of the update. Um, if you have any ideas for future updates, let me know down below. If you guys do wish to play this game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. If you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.